This is the AOS spare wheel storage or bin bag. I'm gonna take a bit of a walkthrough of all the features. Let's check it out. Hit it. Ben from Snowy's here folks, down in the car park at our Keswick store in Adelaide. And I've got the AOS spare wheel storage or bin bag attached to the uh, Mr. Patrol here. And I'm gonna take you a bit of a walk through of all the features. It's a tough storage bag. Weighs a little under 1.3 kilos, about 57 or 60 centimetres in height, about 40 centimetres in width and about 20 centimetres in depth. Now, these are designed and made in Australia and the material itself even is made with a 14 ounce Australian made ripstop poly cotton canvas. It's waterproof, it's made tough, so it's gonna last many kilometres hanging on the back of your spare wheel here. What attaches it to your spare wheel is 50 millimeter um, seat belt webbing with big 50 millimeter side release buckles a feature here and also at the other end of these straps here. There's big number 10 coil lockable, lockable sorry, zippers. Uh, these feature on the, the top and the bottom. There's a, a, a zip on the bottom that you can get everything out of nice and easily and they both feature locks so you can lock whatever um, contents you've got in there. And then there's a couple of 25 millimeter nylon um, webbing compression straps that go around the back of the bag here, just to stop things bouncing around too much. And all of these zips are out, they're all the same, number 10 um, zippers. These pockets here don't have a lockable zip on them though. So I'll start with the features, we better be quick because it's just coming over cloudy, I think it's gonna rain. So starting at the top here, there's three straps to attach this, one in the middle here, which goes to a fixed point on the car and two that wrap around the wheel like a backpack. Now we've done another video on how to attach these, so check that out. Now these backpack straps here don't just sew in at the top, they're actually continuous. They go right down the back of the bag, they're sewn into the back of the bag here and continue right around where they go around the bottom of the wheel up the other side into the top. So they're not just stitched in in one point, they're actually sewn right around the bag. Moving forward, we've got the, the flap over the top here, which has got a little weather flap over the top of the zip here. We unzip that and we can then access inside the bag and it's just one large pocket in there. So there no, no other extra accessories or pockets or anything, just one big pocket. Further down, uh, we've got the first of two compression straps, 25 millimeter webbing compression straps, and we can undo that on this side here, unclip that, do it up, and we can tighten that up just to keep the contents secure inside so they're not bouncing around too much. On each side of the bag here, we've got little thin accessory pocket, and there's this same black 14 ounce canvas around the front of the bag here. So we've got a long thin pocket here, it's sewn down the side there. We've got another one on the front here, which is a wider narrow pocket. And then another one down this side here, which is another thin pocket as well, just for storage of small gear. And then at the bottom of the bag, another lockable zipper. We've got two zips there. We can lock it in the middle. Well, we undo that and this makes it easy to get the rubbish out if we like. So when we're ready to empty this, we unzip this, the bag can, or whatever we've got, rubbish bag or whatever we've got in there can come out the bottom nice and easy to empty it out, zip it up and we're good to go again. And the very last feature I'll point out is a little brass eyelet in the bottom here. So if you do happen to get a bit of water inside the bag, it's gonna leak out the bottom there. That's pretty much all the features of the AOS storage, uh, wheel, spare wheel storage or bin bag. Great way to keep um, maybe smelly rubbish that you would otherwise have inside the cabin um, on the outside of the car where the, you, the smells aren't bothering you. My preference would probably be to use uh, a lot of smaller bags inside because I can take that into the campsite or hang it on the side of the table and then throw it in here when I'm finished with it. You could put a large bag inside there, I suppose, if you like, sort of hang it over the side and then just fold it up each time you finish with it. Alternatively, it's a good option to store maybe recovery gear, that muddy stuff, um, maybe even muddy shoes um, on the outside of your car so you keep the inside of your car nice and clean. Or maybe just ropes, straps, that sort of thing for what you would normally um, secure stuff onto the roof rack with you can keep in here. But uh, a great addition to your four-wheel drive touring setup. And you can grab these online at snowys.com.au at our lowest prices every day. If you've got any questions, say let us know down in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel. We'll send you all our latest and greatest information or check out some other AOS videos like this one down here.